Hi, welcome to the North Dakota Creature Feature, where we highlight the lesser known animals from North Dakota's fossil history. Today, we're going to be talking about an Oligocene alligator. Now extinct in the northern latitudes, except for those found in zoos, crocodiles and alligators were once abundant in North Dakota. Although they have a much older fossil record, the oldest crocodile fossils from North Dakota date back to the late Cretaceous period when dinosaurs ruled the land. The 66 million year old Hell Creek Formation depicts a time in North Dakota that was wet and swampy and crocodiles were abundant. When the dinosaurs went extinct at the end of the Cretaceous, the environment stayed more or less the same. Western North Dakota was still covered in swamps that crocodiles favor, but now with the absence of dinosaurs, crocodiles are the dominant predators. Over the next 10 to 20 million years, Western North Dakota began to dry out. During this time of drying, Crocodiles disappeared from North Dakota and were replaced by alligators. By 30 million years ago, during the Oligocene epoch, North Dakota resembled today's African savanna, rivers and streams cutting through a much drier but still partially forested plain. In rocks of the Oligocene Brule Formation, the NDGS has uncovered fossils of an alligator. Given the fact that crocodiles and alligators have been so commonly found in other, older rock formations in North Dakota, this might not seem odd, but in this case it is. There is a report of a slightly older alligator from the Brule Formation of South Dakota in the Big Badlands, but besides that, there are no other alligators in the middle of the continent at this time. The fossil that was found is called an osteoderm, which literally means bone skin. It is a small, thin, flat bone that is embedded in the skin of crocodiles and alligators along their back. If you can picture what an alligator or crocodile looks like today, the osteoderms are what is making all the bumps along the backs of those creatures. Other animals in the fossil record also have osteoderms, but the ones that are, come from alligators and crocodiles don't look like any of those. Theirs are thin, flat, and have holes all along the top, making the bone look almost like Swiss cheese. In addition to the osteoderms from these alligators, we also have a partial skeleton from one of them. We have bones from the limbs, as well as other bones from the body but so far we haven't found any teeth. Due to how far apart some of the fossils have been found, we also know that we have more than one skeleton of these animals. It is odd that these animals are so rare at this time in the fossil record, but we have several skeletons here in North Dakota. This is one of the reasons these fossils are so important, not only to North Dakota, but to vertebrate paleontology in general.